have always been my mother's child. See, a mother's love can catch you when you're falling quicker than Flash can. Have it on your side and you'll be flying higher than Superman can't. My mother loves with two times the strength of Wonder Woman. She's the one I simply cannot do without. She's the Atarudo that is hotter than. The sound of her voice is sweeter than Efo. Satisfies my ears and causes a rumble in my tummy. Mother to daughter. Heart to heart. Better than a husband will call his wife. Secrecy. You've learned to envelop my pain like an incubator. Wash me clean till it's a baptism. You're the melody I sing too well. The Paul Cleverly that keeps me on beat even when I sing off key. And anybody try to stay my white, you they protect me with double speed. Because even a mother knows how to fight dirty. Carries love like a tsunami. And his wife Susan is proud to call Carol mother, friend, bestie. Susan is all that she is, thanks to Carol. Hey, my peeps, it's your favorite girl, Susan Patrick, aka Susie Sus the Savage. Welcome back to Surviving Lagos Season 2, baby. This season, we have extra fun, extra vibes, extra ginger, and I picked the best of the best for you as guests. But don't worry, I added something, a little twist, a little sauce in the middle for you. It's about to be lit, baby. On my first episode of Surviving Lagos, I have the most beautiful woman on this planet, someone who ran so I could walk, the most beautiful person that you would come across, my number one fan. I have no other than my mother, Miss Carol Padgett. And today I am not the one driving the conversation. I have somebody, you know, one of my special people. Elo with the flow, baby. Without further ado, let's get into this episode and welcome back to Surviving Lagos season two. It's Surviving Lagos, baby. With Susie Sus de Savagi. Hey guys, welcome to what is about to be the best experience of your life. Okay, Surviving Lagos is back. Season 2 is here and this is the very first episode. I'm Elo, your guest host for today. And I have two powerful, beautiful, amazing, stunning women. Okay, we will give uh, the queen her flowers and uh, introduce her first. Susie Sue's the Savage. The queen of surviving Lagos, the queen of TV, the queen of everything. It's not easy. <laughs> it's, it's really not easy. <laughs> and to my left, this will surprise you. The queen mother herself. Because, you know, the woman I gave birth to the queen is also a queen in her regard. Okay. Yeah. And so it is my honor to um, introduce and welcome to the show, um, Mrs. Carol Pajok. Thanks for having me on the show. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> right about Cue all the trumpets. Uh, so I <laughs> Okay, first question before we even get into it. I need to know how this happened. Like, did you, did she ask you? Did you say you want to be on the show? How, how did this conversation come to be? She didn't give me any train. <laughs> <laughs> so you just said you are going to be on the show. And I actually thought she was joking. Uh -huh. She just said, let's go to your room and look for an outfit. I said, Period. Because no, it wasn't, I wasn't, I wasn't asking a she question. Did, she didn't give me any opportunity. I said, opportunity you're coming on to my show. Choice. That period. That's, 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 that's no choice, madam. <laughs> I, know, I can I send it. emails to any other man but you. But I you live know, in your house. Yeah. So Jimmy, let's go. But I think this is great. And honestly, if you're watching this, there's so much you're going to gain from it. So pay attention, okay? Put everything aside. This is a real conversation between mother and daughter. Susan is not here as... The superstar, Suzy, Suzy Savage. She's yeah, Suzanne. Yeah. Or Chuchu, as, as most Chuchu. people call her. <laughs> Chuchu. Yeah, Chuchu. What was growing up like for you, Mom? I grew up amongst three, three boys. Hello. So I was like the headmistress or the tomboy or something. <laughs> yeah. So I was the one leading everybody. I was tough because I was the first. Yeah. And then my three brothers were all in school, so... Practically, my father disciplined us. By the time 
I was 25. My father and my mother moved to their retirement home and left me with my two brothers. Wow. So I learned to manage a home at 25. It was tough. <laughs> I can't do that one. So, so compared to the soft life that she lived now. <laughs> she 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 walked so I could run. Mm. I wish she ran so I could walk. In fact, no, in this case, she walked, ran so that you got fly. <laughs> yes. Basically. Literally. Um, but were there things in your childhood that um you experienced or that you went through that you said you she also has to experience those things or things you try to shield her from that you experienced? I went through a lot. Yeah. Um First of all, I went to boarding school. Okay. So I never had that opportunity of going to boarding school only during the COVID period. I was in boarding school in SS1 and during exams. Yes, that's only during okay. exams. I went to boarding school for five years. Uh-huh. Okay. Compared I, I, I had, I could go home. Your My body is crying, I could yeah. go home. So looking at Lagos and Jos, they're two different set of yeah. years. I grew up with a timid background. Mm hmm. Lagos is not to me. At all. <laughs> it's not. You know? And yeah. I grew up with two strict parents. But no hello, freedom. Ma, eh, hey, this is where I have a problem. No freedom. Because she says things like this, and I know that she had a bit of freedom. I, well, I don't think that they gave her freedom. I think she kind of was taking it small, small. Because she should give you examples of when she used to sneak out to the room. Um, but that's not the same thing now. No, no, the freedoms you I see, had. I don't sneak out to the room. The freedoms I had was because I was the hostel. But when I get back home, hmm, there's no place to... My you. mom was a watchdog. <laughs> my father can leave you, but my mother... Yeah. Know. So, because I was in university, and then the, my brother that was... Immediately after me, yeah. two used to sneak out. Um, not you used to stay late, but because he's a boy, yeah, you, you need, know. So, yeah, they, so yeah. all the attention was on me. Fair so enough. So they, they assisted me sometimes, you know. So like, they say go with your friends, or we'll do that. Let, let if you're caught, don't say, don't call my name. So, <laughs> you know. And obviously, you don't have that because it seems like she uh, gave you the no, new way, so yeah, you don't have to sneak out. Yeah. No, I. I had some bad experiences that yeah. I mentioned it to Susan. Oh, interesting. Um, I have a group of friends that sneaked out. They all died in the oh, car accident. Wow. It was only one that survived. So I never liked that sneaking out. They, they sneaked out of the friends' home, went to Zaria for a party, and died on the way back to Joss. And the parents never knew that they were even dead. They thought that maybe they were in school or they were in the oh. room. And just for us in the morning in church, this one is dead, that is dead, that it was only one survivor. For so I don't like the that's why I always tell Susan, wherever you're going to, you need to tell me. Yeah. And you need to put your phone in. Wow. Because I don't like that thinking experience. Yeah, I don't think I ever had to sneak out yeah. like as like a teenager. Like never had. Uh, how, how does it feel to have such a cool mom? That's like it feels good, though, like because I can remember when in secondary school, I, there was a point in time. I think twenty nineteen. Mm-hmm. I used to go out a lot. Like I was very social, mm-hmm. and then my friends were like, "Oh my god, like Susan can go out." I'm like, "Yeah," because I had a conversation <laughs> with my mother. <laughs> so like even times like people would think I snuck out. I'm yeah. like, no. My mommy knows where I'm well, at. Yeah. Like, if she wants to come and get me, she would come and get yeah. me. Like, I never had to tell her. Like, And I never had to lie about where I was going to. She was very open because, I mean, she puts me in a, in a mixed school. Because, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes you have to be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to this person's house so that they don't think too much. I always just used to say, oh, yeah, I'm going to this person's house. And this person's house, I'm going to. They might perhaps be boys. No, but, but, but I, was, I was comfortable with that because I knew their parents. Yeah, Fair and enough, I knew okay. how to get hold of yeah. Yeah. her and the parents. Yeah. That's why I mm. allowed those freedoms and outings. Mm-hmm. But I got a lot of challenge from mm-hmm. my family. Mm. Because of that? Because being the only child and being a girl child in my place is not accepted. I looked at it in the, in the point of view that she's from a different generation and for her career, she needs to socialize. So I don't need to catch her. Yeah. You know, that's my own reasoning. Yeah. 
but other people did not see that reasoning. Well, we love that. That was your reasoning. Exactly. Because she turned Thank out you. great. She turned like... out great. <laughs> but now that we're on the topic of her career, how did it feel? I mean, seeing your baby girl um, experiencing and being exposed to fame and, you know, popularity and superstardom from such a young age. At first I was scared because it was a decision I made on my own because nobody, nobody supported it. I took the bull by the horse no, and I said, we'll, we'll go on this journey together. I took her everywhere when she was on the Jossa set and when she was fully in Hollywood. Yeah. I would stay with her, would stay from morning to night on set, go to school, we go everywhere together. I took that responsibility because I said, it's my decision. If it goes wrong, I will take the glory. The, yeah. If she succeeds, I will take the glory. So like my family and my friends, some of them frowned, some accepted it because I didn't, I didn't ask her to stop. Uh -huh. You know, I listened to the comments and I listened to the critics, but the, it didn't change my mind because that's where she's happiest uh -huh. on set. Uh -huh. And um, thank God I listened to Miss Karachi, who discovered her in, in Nursery 2. She said, Susan belongs on set, don't kill it. Wow, was that a teacher? Yeah. Oh, shout out to Miss Karachi. Yeah. She currently writes um, Songs of the Caliphate. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. She's Dimbo's wife. Okay. Yeah, Dimbo, Dimbo Tia, the director. The director. On them. Wow. Um, so she saw and she was like, and she yeah. was like, spotted the talent straight away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so actually pretty cool. She she kept on hammering. Um, I know you're going through pressure because yeah. you're from the same state with um, uh, Dimbo, her uh -huh. husband. Uh -huh. But people will frown, but you know, just keep on praying for her and just hold her hand and be there for her. And luckily, I was able to convince my dad. My dad was her greatest. Um, fan, fan oh, on the Johnsons. Yeah, I've heard her talk about it. Mm. He even has her scripts because even of recent, he's late and I was yeah. uh, cleaning his bedroom. I saw some of the Johnsons scripts. So I told my mother to keep them in one, one side of the house wow, for that me. That is so cool. You know, so I got my father's support and that, that meant the world to me. To you, yeah. So anybody yeah. else was just, I would listen. But I knew what's I was doing and I knew what makes her happy, happy and yeah. I didn't want to crush that deal yeah. for her. And I said, okay, let me take this gamble and let her do her thing. Well, I mean, <laughs> how does that feel? Like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like when she was making this whole decision, I feel like I wasn't oblivious to it. Like I knew what was going on because at first, like everyone just thought it was a hobby. Mm -hmm. I feel like everyone that watched me grow up knew that I really liked acting. Even my uncle, Uncle Max, yeah. I used to do this thing for like her and her friends where I would entertain them. I would come one side and act a different and character then go, and go the yeah. other side. So like everyone just thought it was like a hobby yeah. until like I actually wanted to actually act on TV. My mom used to be obsessed with tinsel. Obsessed. And I remember Are you still one obsessed day, with Tinsel? No. Tinsel. <laughs> no <laughs> I am, mean, you know, that she's not. <laughs> there was a day we were watching Tinsel and there was like an audition. Yeah. And then I was looking at it. And then we had someone staying with us, like a nanny. Mm -hmm. And then I was looking at it. I was like, Mommy, I want to go. And then she just like, it was passive. She was just like, mm, okay, no problem. Mm -hmm. And me, I'm the type of person that if you tell me, okay, no problem, I will disturb you until <laughs> you give me what to say. I've said, okay, no problem too. So then I told her, okay, like, I put the date down. I wrote everything down. So I was like, oh yeah, mommy, like, let's go. Yeah. And then she's the type of person that if she promises something, she feels like she has to give it to me as long as she has said it. Mm -hmm. So yes, we went and I went with like the nanny and then I wore this princess dress and like there was a long queue was in Ikeja and I was standing Welcome in the hot audition. sun. And then I think one lady that works for like the company, she just saw me, she was like, hi princess, you look so beautiful, come see in front of the Boom. lady. I was like, yes, <laughs> I went to go. like, yes, let's go. And then I went to the front of the line and then yeah. I auditioned. And then with Nollywood, like they give you a call back before they like finally call you for like the role. So they gave me a call back. They didn't give my nanny a call back and I was feeling on top of the Your nanny auditioned as well? Yes, mommy said, she should audition. Well, that's cool. <laughs> so yes, I was feeling on top of the world. She actually grew from the audition. Mm -hmm. Oh, cool. She's a graduate now. Oh, that's She wonderful. got some rules. Yeah, she did. She modeled, made some money, did some films, and 
Yeah. She's made now. Uh, yeah. Mommy out here empowering women since. Period. No, we love it. We actually do love it. Um, are you on social media? Like Instagram, Twitter? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, I would say one leg in and one leg. Okay. Fair she has enough. an Instagram account. She has followers, though. Don't let her deceive you. <laughs> no, the, the reason why I'm asking is do you like, do you give her tips? Do you help her out with like what to post and stuff so like she that? So does, she doesn't like pictures. She doesn't like like Instagram, she just stays there to comment on her pictures. And Interesting. Like, she's like, so she's like still like a model hawk yes, on your IG. It's like once I post a picture, uh -huh. I've seen that Carol Padrick has commented. I'm like, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then sometimes when I'm scrolling through like my friend's pictures, I'm seeing liked by Carol Padrick. I'm like, mommy, mommy. Like, <laughs> I think there was even a time I messaged her. I was like, mommy, please, can you stop liking this person's picture? <laughs> Why? Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> Every time I see liked my cat, mommy. So when obviously because uh, obviously she's popping on Instagram, when you see all these different comments, whether it's negative, whether it's positive, do you ever feel the need to reply to anybody, or do you like go and mark that Instagram and <laughs> stuff like you? Well, um, when she she was modeling for a particular brand, okay, the first her first modeling gig, a uh -huh. uh, professional mo modeling influencing contract. That we had a lot of issues. I, 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 I have like three platforms mm. from my secondary school to my university. And then we have another platform again, contractors platform. Mm -hmm. So they were like, I should ask her to pull down the pictures. Uh -uh. I have like two different lines or three different lights. They were on fire from uh -huh. all the platforms. So. I spoke to Susan about it, and then we made a decision about it. Susan said, you have to grow thick skin. Yeah. And I called the owner of the brand, and I spoke to the owner of the brand, said, that's just the beginning. Yeah. I get to say the hate. Yeah. The hate, the hating coming from fans, uh -huh. the hating coming from competitions, uh -huh. the hating coming from other influencers that are influencing, in, even on his yeah, for, for the product or for him, for the, yeah. You yeah. know, so he said, um, mm. Mommy Suzanne, you just have to learn to be strong for her. Mm. So after getting a lot of that, and then one of my aunties called from America and asked me that, did I see the comments? I said, yes. And I told her, I said, she didn't design those clothes. Uh -huh. She's working for a brand. If you scroll down, uh -huh. you see the name of the brand. Uh -huh. And... She doesn't pick. They give her what she wants. Yeah. And you know, she now says she's too young. I said, there's nothing like too young. It's because she's in Nigeria that you are making noise. If she's in US or um UK. Facts. She has no choice. It's what they give her, she models. Yeah. And it's a contract. I cannot pull it down. Neither can she pull it down. So I said, can you take the heat? I said, we'll, we'll do it with prayers. <laughs> Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. The first post she did, we got away with it. The bashing went. The second post, nobody bothered. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, it's like if you can't deal with the first one, everybody will get so, in line. So nobody bothered. Yeah. But I told Susan, I said, so learn from this. Yeah. You two, slow down a bit. Yeah. Hey. Did I? <laughs> I think so, did, did, did I? I? So wait, so has she ever called you out on anything you posted? My mom. Yes, at, at any time. Okay. So before before now, I didn't used to show her my Instagram pictures because I used to be scared. But like now I show her, I'm like, you, I'm about to post this. So like before they will come as screenshots because yeah. I realized that she's still going to see it. Because like, she follows even, you like, on IG. Yeah. No, before she got an Instagram account because okay. her Instagram account is very like recent. Okay, fair. Um, I just started showing her pictures. I'm like, I snapped in this. I'm going to post it. See it. If you come and disturb you, please just, you are not hearing them. <laughs> Thank you. Because these are the same people that, yeah. like, then they did, they weren't getting the bigger picture. But now they're like, ah, Carol, I saw your daughter on this. And I'm like, you see, when we came to you with the small picture, yeah. you did not see it. Now I guess it's a big picture. Everybody's seeing I think, it. I think that's what success does to people all in the limelight. Because... Nobody wants to know how you got there. Yeah. You know, all they just want to see is you succeed. And my my worries about, and my fears about the whole thing was that she shouldn't just be criticized on yeah. social media, but she should succeed. 
Mm. And sign her, her name yeah. on her brand. Yeah. You know? I mean, and she is succeeding because right now we are currently at the Surviving Lagos base. You know, this is uh, this is all put together, owned by the beautiful Susie, Susie the Savage, you know, like boss lady and that. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> I love how the dynamic works between both of you because you're protecting her as your as your child and she's protecting you as her mom. I feel like I had to stand up for her because like she's very quiet. As she said, like she grew up from like a very timid place. So my mom is the type of person that you piss off and you don't know that you have pissed off. Because then she's still going to care. Like, she's still going to ask you, oh, how are you doing? Mm -hmm. She's still going to check up on you. She's still going to ask her your call if you call her. I'm like, why do you do this? Because me, if you piss me off, hey, blocked. <laughs> blocked. Oh, who did she get this from? Because clearly, it me, is it from like grand, hey, grand, your grand pops? I think it's my grandma. Okay, fair enough. Blocked. Because, like, till this day, she still talks to people like, I don't talk to her. I'm like, I don't talk. Why are you still checking? Like, you care? Like, Cause now I feel like I was like standing up for her is something. Cause especially with her friends, mm -hmm. there's some of her friends that will be like, "Oh yeah, I saw this about Susan. I saw this about Susan." And then she's like, "Oh yeah, oh this person called and this person called and this person called." Mm -hmm. I won't say anything at the time, but when this like when person calls me, yeah. they would know that I have a few things to say. Cause one thing about me is that it, you rather that I tell you what is on my mind than for That's me to funny. not tell you what is on my mind. Cause if I do not tell you what is on my mind, you think I hate you and I don't. I just have like things on my mind. So mom, I want to ask this question then because obviously that she's coming from her perspective. But we know that obviously as parents, there are things you guys see that we as children don't see a lot of the times. And the way you choose to react is based on those things. So can you please just try and explain your own perspective to her because she's going off. <laughs> well, um, you know, mentally she's still very young. Wow. And she how perspective and reasoning is quite different from mine. If I break the bridges down and I need help or I need something, how do I start to build again? Uh, so I try not to break the bridges totally. Maybe leave a window open. You know, if somebody offends me or somebody does something wrong to me, I leave I, I, I will just ignore the person. Mm -hmm. But I still go back to the person because I've learned not to totally cut off people people because people have their reasons why they're around you. Mm -hmm. Everybody cannot be 100% perfect. Mm -hmm. I've learned that with my own family. A lot goes on in family, church, and politicians. Politics, yeah, yeah. Everybody plays games. So it's not that I don't see the games. I ignore that. Mm -hmm. What is priority to me is what I pick first. So I start with my priorities. If I break this bridge now, uh -huh. how do I get to the next step? I still need this bridge. So I just ignore you and try to be cordial with you. But if I know that this one is going to kill me, to tough. It. Remove it. See and down. that's how I manage to keep people around. I know if I try to explain that to Susan, she might not understand because she's all in Lagos. But I'm all over the place. I've been in London. I've been in... In Abuja, I've been in Jaws, I've been in Bauchi, I've yeah. been all over Ghana, everywhere. I have links everywhere. Yeah. But, you know, like she's just here in, La in Lagos, highest Abuja, highest Jaws, maybe Lokoja, and in a bit of London. But I have, over the years, I've met all kinds of people. Like good and bad. experiences, yeah. yeah. And I've seen all sorts. Both the good, the bad, the ugly, I've seen it all. International mama, we love it. Period. <laughs> I hope you are learning, madam. Cut off everything. <laughs> you see, that's the thing. She said she said she feels like every relationship is made because yeah. like for a reason. Yeah. I feel like every relationship has a season. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's some people that are not meant to be in your life after a particular season. Thank if you. you are harboring them in your life, you might be harming yourself more than like helping yourself. Mm. So yeah, two perspectives. Well, I, I mean, I can appreciate this. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm learning stuff here as well. Over the years, what have you both bonded on? What are the things you say you bonded over the most? Is it movies? Is it, is it, you know? What would you say? What do we do to bond? <laughs> Maybe we cook. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. That, oh, we arrange the house. And sure. We, we gossip together. Yeah, we gossip. And we shop. <laughs> Yeah, we shop together. Wow. Well, how much of a fan of her work are you? Huh. More, more than me. Well, 
I think I'm a Christmas fan. Yeah, that is so cool. Because even if she criticizes, I still feel good in it. Yeah. Like all her um, episodes on Johnson's, mm -hmm. she has not even watched one tenth of it. I've watched all. Sure. All what? her films, I've sure. watched all. It's only Sugar. I'm still watching, yeah. I made up my mind to give her my support because <laughs> I know that I'm the only real family background she has. Yeah, hey. I'm, I'm always there for her, whether yes. it's good or bad. Now, have you guys had the talk? Like, did you ever, like, all the talks, you know, boys? No, we talk sex, about it. Hey, I don't know that there's anything that we don't talk about. Okay. We talk about everything. We quarrel, we fight, uh, we, we do everything, but we make up. No, I feel like I feel like now we're in a good space. We've been in a good space for like the past two years. Mm -hmm. But then we were like at each other's throats. Because she's very like we're opposites. Mm -hmm. And it's like when you have two strong characters, I yeah. believe that they are right is a lot. So who's the first then, to say sorry then when you guys Um me. This woman. <laughs> what do you mean this woman? <laughs> she, if she wrongs me, she'll say, Oh, do you want to eat? What do you mean do I want to eat? Susan. Susan. Yes. You are always on your phone now. Even Ooh. when we make up, I have to come up with the phone. True. So even when I say sorry, I'm like, oh yeah, no, so sorry. And I just use TikTok or something. She now comes to gym. She now be trying to form conversation that we've had before. She's bringing it back. I'm like, you want to talk to me? Talk to me directly. Don't be going to the corners. <laughs> ask me what you want to ask me. Well, actually, my mother did give, give me advice. Okay. My mother oh, yeah, gave Kaka. Yeah. After my dad died. Yeah. She said. You know your father, your best friend has come. I might get emotional. Said, your best friend has come. You don't have anybody again. Only Susan. So I thought about it. She said, try and understand her. Yeah. And don't fight her. Go back to Lagos. Mend your waist. Whatever she, she does, she's growing. She might not see things the way you see it. But always advise her. But don't push her out. Mm -hmm. I learned to tolerate. It's not that if she does anything, I might not like some, but I learned to stomach it and to look the other way for peace. But if I don't like it and I feel that it's not any good to her, I see it outright. And I tell she her. She doesn't say it, she just texts me. I say it and I tell her, I don't, I don't like that. So stop it, you know. So my mom just told me, I said, that's all you have. Yeah. So hold on, hold to, on her. to her. Yeah. I mean, well, I don't know if it's okay. We can, can we talk about your, your granddad? Because you had also um, expressed to me once before what he meant to you. What are the things that now that he's gone, you've held on to or that have kept you going? I mean, for both of you. So when people call him my granddad, it's always weird. Because <laughs> I swear I grew up with him as my dad. Okay. Because first of all, like, he never used to allow me to call him grandpa. Mm. It was daddy. Okay. So even, like, my younger cousins didn't know that, like, I was their cousin. They thought, like, I was my mom's, like, last born. Because like, it was always daddy. And they used yeah. to call him grandpa or dada. Yeah. But I would call him daddy. Because as mommy has said, we always used to fight. But he was like the middleman. Mm. He was always the person, like, if my mommy vexes me, I'm picking up the cup. I'm like, Daddy, yeah. mommy's making me angry and this and this yeah. and this. And the next thing you hear is, come to Joss. That's the solution. Come to Joss. Leave her. Just allow her be for now. Just come to Joss. So we're like, he was like our escape. Mm. So he was her escape for me. And like, yes. so like every time we needed something, he was so sweet. Like, I remember like, um, I think a few months before he died or like he like was walking around the garden and he called me and he goes, Chuchu, how are you? Because they call me Chuchu at home. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm fine. He's like, how is your mommy? And normally he will not ask me how is your mommy because he has either like spoken, spoken to, to her. her yeah. I'm like, she's fine. She's like, don't fight her. Like, don't look for her trouble. Don't fight her. And in my head, I'm like, daddy, you know that she's the one that looks for my trouble. It's not like, mm -mm. don't fight her. Don't look for her trouble. Like you push, you just understand each other. So he calls me Chundung, and that's her name. Oh. My name is Gunshung. Like, uh -huh. when when he wants to talk to me about her, uh -huh. he say, you know you're Chundung, but he doesn't call her Chundung. Oh, sorry, what does that mean? Uh? Chundung means great buffalo. Oh, well, okay, I love that, yeah. And Gunshung is like the... The greater buffalo. Yes. The greatest that of the so greatest. Cool. So, yes. 
And one of the things that hurts me the most is the fact that like I was so busy when he was becoming weaker that like I wasn't there as much as I normally am. Because I'm I mean just babe. Yeah. Like every holiday, Christmas, summer, New Year, I was always in And then fights as well. Yeah, I was always there. But like yeah. I think before he died, I hadn't been there for like two years. And it was uncalled for, it was all head for. Like wow. I was in just they attacked our house, Boko Haram burnt our house down to wow. the ground. We were in the house. I was with my cousins. Yeah. My mom was in Lagos. Like we're about to travel. They burnt our house down to the ground. My grandpa, my two cousins, my grandma, we ran to the garden to hide. No, no, you we crawled. Watched, crawled to the garden to hide. We watched the house burning down. They burnt his hillocks, burnt his bends. Like we watched everything. Imagine like watching your whole life just coming out. Because that was my childhood house, like her childhood house. They had to rebuild the house. And obviously these things would make one weaker. Uh -huh. So it was making him weak. And he always just used to say, I'm not leaving this place. This is my, like, this is my home. Mm -hmm. You can't come and chase me away from my home. I am not going anywhere. If anything, I would rebuild the house. And just like that, like, those are the memories I hold on to. Like, these are things that keep me going. Like, yeah. we just had, like, such... That was my dad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you didn't tell him about how you got into mini pots and taught you how to cook. Oh, yes. What? Yes. My grandpa was the first person that started teaching me how to cook. Because I wanted to learn how to cook from, like, a young age. But then they never used to allow me in the kitchen because they thought I was too young. Uh -huh. So one day we just went to Bukuru. Bukuru is a place in Joss. Okay. And he bought me, like, these small pots and pans and, like, he would make fire outside for me, like with like firewood, and then be making Did like clay have... food. Yeah. And then at a point, started making proper food. Yeah. He told me how to fry eggs. Yeah. My my grandpa was he was an OG. He used to do this thing where you know how when you have kata in your nose, he would Dude, suck, suck it. it out. Oh yeah. God, I used to hate that. <laughs> oh, when he does, I'm like, oh God. Like, yeah, it's all a little you know, icky, but. <laughs> Then at a point in time, they banned Hausa. They're like, we're not speaking Hausa because Hausa is not our language. Oh, okay, our language okay. is Biro. Biro. And Biro is hard. It's so complicated. Can you speak it though? All I know is Sho, Allah, Kaja, Mafeng, Yepe. Like, those are the things I know. Like, yeah. And they're not, like, I can't say sentence in Biro, but I can say sentences in Hausa, which is what he was trying to get. Yes, like, yeah. But when I was younger, apparently what had happened was I was mixing three languages. Yeah. I was strong in Birum House and English. Yeah. So at a point in time in school, they had to tell her to stop teaching me. Because yeah, I was... They had to drop Birum. Yeah. Yeah. So of that's down why... Hasa because Hasa was being taught in the school. But do you still speak Birum to her now? Not too fluent. Not too fluent. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I understand. Birum yeah. is complicated. Yeah. You need to speak it every day. Yeah. So to to understand. Yeah. 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 But I understand. And I I speak the every day. Yeah. The, the greetings, the... The formal yeah. basics, that, basically. Yeah. Basic. One of the things that um that her dad, grandpa, um sort of imbibed in you that you've used to raise her as you've grown. And create independence. My father always lectured me about being independent, not relying on anybody but yourself and God. Mm -hmm. You know, those were one of his principles and con contentment. He was very content. He was very, very content. content. My dad was so tall, feeding, hygiene, and mm -hmm. everything. I mean, it's safe to say he's raised two beautiful and strong women, so we love that. Let's talk about dating. Hey. I, this is very interesting to me. <laughs> I want to, let's talk about this. Now, first of all, at what age do you think she started dating? Uh. Have I started dates? Have you started dating? <laughs> well, she went to a mid school. Yeah. And she had a couple of friends around her. It's a topic that we could not avoid. Bring, bring, bring. And breathe. being in the middle of all of that, yeah. I knew everything they were doing. Yeah. yeah. Because they all came to me and made sure that all of them were my best friends. Yeah. 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 Some gossip. So, Strategy. Well, it was like say harmless duty. <laughs> well, how much of Mom's approval do you need before you and someone maybe start that conversation? Like so if Mom's doesn't honest, really rock with somebody, do you? I haven't really dated that many people, right? Mm -hmm. Aside like my last relationship. Mm -hmm. Um so my first one, she knew him, like she was a fan. 
I think he even bought her a bag when he traveled, like, to... Okay. Nice. He bought me a bag. I know his mom. Yeah, yeah, like... His mom used to live in Lagos before she lived in Lagos. Oh, So I knew his mom as a babe in Lagos. So, so she knew, like, she yeah. knew him and she, like... So it was a thing where it's like, even when I'm talking to him and mommy passes, it's like, ah, great mommy for me in that type yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. But you see, my last relationship, mm-hmm. I feel like, see, I saw Shiggy in that relationship. And maybe if I had listened to her, I wouldn't have seen the Shiggy that I saw. Because yeah. when I, like, when I started talking to him, yeah. my mom goes, who is this one again? And when she says that thing, it means that she does not like the person. So now I said, mommy, see, I like this person. I'm going to have to like him. And she's ah, okay. I'll bring mm-hmm. him to the house. Mm-hmm. Yes, see. Let's meet him. <laughs> and I brought him to the house, and yeah. they got they started a relationship of their own, which I feel like she still likes him. I mean, they still talk. Does the whole "I love you, mommy" thing? And I'm like, yeah, cool. Yeah, don't talk to my mommy. Yeah, like, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like to an extent now, anybody that want to answer me, if you are saying hello, I mommy, this person is saying hello, I. What do you think? Does he have sense? Does he not have... Because you know mothers can just see, even with friends. They can tell, yeah. If your mother doesn't like your friend, you should be worried. You should be very worried because there's something that she's seen that she's not seeing. Because yeah. now when I make a new friend, I bring them to the house. I'm like, okay, do I... Is this is this one okay? Do yeah. you like this one? Are we good with this one? If she says yes, I'm like, okay. Soft. Well, mommy, I want I want to know, Um, has there ever been a time where you felt like she was trailing off and you needed to like curtail her and like... Oh, boy. You know, is put it, the rings in. Is it in the dating or the friend? No, just anything. Like dating, friends, you know, she's the way always, she's spending she's money, anything, anything. Yeah, friends. Dating, okay. she's a bit ambitious about her career. Yeah. Mm. She's not into relationships. 100%. Yeah. Maybe she would double into it because it's, is invoked to have a date or yeah. boyfriend or something. Yeah. <laughs> but the friends are the scary ones. I like I like where this is going. The here. friends are the scary ones because they come around all oh, lovey dovey 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 dovey. Uh-huh. And most of them are, are not about how yeah. about what can get from how. Uh-huh. And the way they go about it, it's really scary. Yeah. It took a lot because we had that arguments. I tried to shelter her. Yeah. She didn't grow up on the streets. When she likes you, she will go all out. She's a loyal friend. Yeah. From secondary school, it started. She will fight for her friend. Yeah. She will, bo- sh- 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 in short, so now I'll take a bullet for a friend. But I have not seen the friend that would take a bullet for Susan. That is where my worry is. Really? Yeah. You haven't seen a friend? Only one, no. Okay. okay. One. Shouts to you wherever you are. And she's not around. All right. Yeah. And that one is my second daughter. Being around me, she matured quickly. Quickly, yeah. She grew quickly, me and only child. And then being that I'm independent, I had to play father and mother. mother. So Susan grew up a bit hardened. So she knew she grew to know a lot faster than some of her friends. But you know, she's still that child at heart. At, yes. So she found herself amongst older friends mm-hmm. who take advantage of oh, her. That, yeah. And that is where I don't like. Yeah. And I come in. Yeah. I've managed to talk to her and yeah. tell her that you need to stay around your age. It helps to sanitize mm. you sometimes. Some, yeah. Don't overdo it. Yeah. Live mm-hmm. your life. Don't live the life that's older than you. Mm-hmm. You will get to that age. You will get there. So. Um, I do want to ask mom, mom, Mommy this. Did you see the episode with James Brown? I apologize to my mom. Like, there's nothing he can do for me now that would change how I was when I was younger. <sighs> um, after the episode dropped, yes. um, it was just me alone. It will pass. Fair enough. But it took a lot of people mm-hmm. on our backs. My friends, my family, church members, school platforms, who works. And I was numb. I mean, I feel like when, because I remember when um, the episode dropped, I was shooting Sheila and um, she watched this. It was a Sunday mm-hmm. also. She watched this and she was, she was like, ah, Chucha, I just watched. This was her immediate reaction to watching it. Mm-hmm. She goes, Chucha, I just watched this episode. Oh, I, this guy is so funny. Like, I really like him. Da, 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 da. I'm like, yeah. But then this was before Backlash. 
So backlash happened like 24 hours after. After, yeah. So I was shooting sugar. So I was very, um, I was very inactive. I was in sugar. Like I wasn't anywhere else. So I remember my mom calling me, like texting me, are you good? Are you fine? Like, you're not talking to me. You're quiet. Are you sure you're okay? Like what's going on? Like, I think somebody sent her a blog post. She sent it to me. I was just like, don't worry. (laughs) Like I'm okay. Like I'm good. Mm -hmm. Like when my Twitter account was taken down, I, t- I texted her, I was like, my sister can't sit down. She's like, okay, don't worry, just stay calm. I'm like, oh, before, I'm calm. Like, what, what, what will happen to me? I don't think anything will happen to me. And then, of course, like, people that she knows, like, they were talking to her, they were reaching out to mm-hmm. her. And then she would, my mom does this thing where, like, she doesn't like to see them, see them, see them, see She just forwards. If you so send her a message, up, yeah, she'll stop, <laughs> forward, straight. Like, Safe she doesn't even, like, she does, you just be seeing forwarded, forwarded, forwarded. So I was just reading everything that like, everyone had to say, and I was just like, like people don't even know the story, so like I like just shut up. Like that's I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Like because I think I was talking to you one day and I, sh- I was showing you like a blog post and I was seeing yeah. like comments and then people yeah. were like, "Oh, how would somebody even want to claim you when you're dressing like this?" And I'm like, "Uncle, keep quiet." And then there was another one that was like, "If I need to succeed in like media lights, I have uh-huh. to go and beg somebody." Yeah. Why do the only person I need to beg is God? Like <laughs> who is this? <laughs> Don't stress me. Don't stress me. Yeah. But yeah, I'm I'm used to it now. And I remember when when it happened, I don't think I was thinking about myself. Mm. It was more of how because I had said what I had said, and yeah. like what will happen? Like at the end of the day, I'm not saying you're wrong. Yeah, I'm 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 the child that was made mm-hmm. to experience it. If anybody was in the wrong, it wasn't me. But yeah. Oh, we're gonna do some quick fire questions. Are we ready? Okay. All right. So first of all, who is more picky with food? Susan. <laughs> so I don't you like stress vegetables. our queen mother? Yeah, she she likes she likes vegetables. She likes uh, I hate no, vegetables. I don't I like I actually don't blame her because she she grew up in Lagos. Oh I grew up in Joss. Okay. That's the land of Instep. Yes. Period. I, I grew up to eat everything and I yes. learned to eat everything and appreciate almost every food. Yeah. But here in Lagos can be picking now because no noodles, bread, sandwiches, snacks. Yeah. You're always moving. Yeah. There's no time to even do anything. Fair enough. Fair enough. You Lagos see, is, thank you for having is, my back. It's how we survive in Lagos, literally. So, okay, who's more frugal with money? I feel like I have the, I have the answer to this question still, but let's go. Even though I feel like I know. <laughs> I know that. Definitely will be more. I'm still a baby. Oh, fair enough. Fair <laughs> I'm enough. I'm still a baby. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll take that. Who's the foodie? Sosa. Aha. Uh-huh. So that's the thing, right? Mm-hmm. We both do eat, but compared to her, mm-hmm. I would be called the foodie, but we, like, it's not like we eat. You know, like you don't eat a like, lot. Like, we I eat once a day, I will be fine. Which kind of foodie eats once a day? That's you see, that's what I'm saying. Fair enough. You did but say compared, compared to, to her. Yeah. Because she, she drinks more of tea, mm-hmm. coffee, like snacks. That's like, why most skin is skinny. Like, as um, you guys see. Yeah, we can, we, we can relate. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, who Who is the prayer warrior? Because I know, I know you're quite prayerful. Well, I can say she's... She's grown yeah. better spiritually. <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of that. Oh, she gave me the note of approval. <laughs> That's it. So that was literally, yeah. we have different times that we pray. She would wake up at 2 or 4 a.m. to pray. I mm. pray at 12. Mm. And like, if you if you live in our house, you see you see that we're very different in prayer. She's mm. more of the quiet. I mm. talk to God. I'm more of the... Rolling Stop. everywhere. I'm shouting at you. <laughs> like you hear my prayer face. <laughs> so yeah, we're different with prayers. But I would I would say she's a prayer warrior because she do be praying a lot. <laughs> Shouts to all, all our moms that pray, mm-hmm. pray for us. Shouts to the all the prayer is working on my Yeah, we Clearly. appreciate it. Oh, who says I love you the most between you both? Definitely her. So do you, but do you not say do you not reciprocate? Well, I, I've reciprocated. Uh no no. It's just very random. Like I can be having a terrible day in the morning and like I leave like the house for work and then she would text me, oh, um, I noticed you were dull. Yeah. I hope you're good. I love you. Oh, that's She's tricky. like, she's the sweet one. That I'm is... the... Oh. <laughs> you say you're the, you're the hard guy. It's all good. Okay. Um, I mean, we've come to the end of this episode. Uh, as we wrap up, is there... I want, like, you both, is there anything you would love to say to Momsi? I mean, is there anything you would love to say to her? Yeah. Know that I'm shy, bro. Go ahead, I like, say. I'm, I'm a hard guy. Like I don't like. Yeah, no cameras. Stuff. Yeah, nobody's looking at you. Right, I can't see like five. It's just you and your mom. <laughs> I don't know that I say it enough, but I genuinely appreciate how much she picks up my messes. 
because I, I make a lot of messes like and i don't mean like like untidy messes like i mean like i'm like i fuck up a lot mm-hmm. like sorry for the language. French. sorry 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 yes <laughs> but a lot and yeah. um it's just very nice having someone that you know would help you fix it because like i'm very impulsive as well so like most of my actions and my reactions are based on how i feel at the time yeah. and it takes hard to come and be like this thing that it did, you know that it has no head and i'm like yeah it has no head and just having Having a mom that was a dad as well, mm. like that shows like her strength. And I enjoyed my childhood to the best of my ability. And I know that she made that happen because I didn't lack anything. I traveled a lot. I knew I was spoiled. I'm still spoiled. So I'm living <laughs> under her roof. Okay, mom, is there anything you want to say to her as we wrap this up now? Well, I'm proud that she's just been able to achieve this on her own 100%. Yeah. I might have a few issues, but yeah. I know God will take her on her journey. Yeah. I wish her the best. And I like to reach out to all the other people that are trying to be like her. They should remain focused. My motto in life is that there's nothing impossible, but you need to involve God. Yeah. And you need to say thank you to all the people that touched your life yeah. to yeah. make you reach to those points mm-hmm. and I'm proud thank oh, that's you wonderful. so on behalf of the Savages <laughs> we want to say thank you for creating a safe space for this beauty to blossom and to be so successful and, yeah, and uh, to you who has followed us on this ride and has kicked it with us and has followed this podcast don't forget to like it don't forget to share it um, and don't forget to just be a part of the family okay this has been Surviving Lagos with Suli Suli the Savage and the wonderful Carol Padrock. <laughs> That's on period. It's Surviving Lagos, baby. With Suli Suli the Savage.